is welcome to your oracle of love for couple this is a general overview for those that are in existing relationships partnerships are currently seeing someone dating someone or in the early stages of courtship okay. the hermit the king of swords three of cups eight of pentacles the devil card and the three of wands okay starting off with the hermit card the hermit card is representative of a virgo or virgo energy so for those that are dealing with a virgo they're certainly coming up here for you i think there's a very strong attachment that's coming to now the sign of um, Virgo and I guess that sort of energy um, when we're thinking about relationships is really an analytical energy it's really an energy where reflection is needed where I think there's more in-depth analytical reflection on your existing relationship I think there's a more focus on communication there's definitely more focus in the words or the actions you're, you are doing um, or communicating with with your partner with the sign of the hermit here um, it can be reflective of spiritual, um, needing spiritual guidance, needing solitude or needing alone time. For some of you, I feel like the focus is definitely going to be placed on your creative pursuit. It might be a Virgo, um, a Capricorn as well, that's sort of retracting from a relationship to focus on themselves. They might need inner guidance or they might need solitude or just time to focus on their, um, their own ambitions, which I see that happening. I think there's a lot of independence that's coming in. Um, looking at these cards here I mean apart from the devil card they, these are cards of independence um, so I think for, for a lot of you that are in relationships or, or that are trying to court someone um, I think the key thing here is to remember this person wants a lot of independence not only in their thoughts and their way of thinking but also just in their own time I feel like there might be a lot of independency between you and your significant other over these next three months and if it's not that, it could also be indicated that inner reflection and time to just um, have that independent and autonomous time to yourself may help you um, deal with your relationships or may help communication improve in your relationships as well. But there is improvement in communication definitely because the King of Swords is here. And this is upright communication. This is things coming to the forefront of your significant other. Maybe this is an air sign. If you have been dealing with an air sign, I think you'll see much more improvements in terms of communication. You might feel that where things were maybe retrograding a little bit or going back in direction are actually going forward now at a pace that you're comfortable with. I think you're really setting the pace these next three months um, of how you want this relationship to be, setting the pace of how often the two of you spend time together, setting the pace of how often you communicate about your feelings. Um, there is a lot of direction and I like it. I think there's definitely um, someone that's leading the relationship. It could be an air sign if you are coupled up with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Or in fact, this could be your energy and this could indicate your mentality is a little bit different in how you're approaching the relationship, which is really good. But I think there's more communication that's happening but the only way you're going to get this communication is by giving your significant other space. I feel like independence is needed in your relationships. The Three of Cups can denote a third party situation and also with the Three of Wands. But I feel it's more to do with independence and social time. For some of you, I feel like you'll be spending a lot of group, a lot of time with groups or double dating or with other couples. And I think this might somehow bring you closer together. I feel you might notice the contrast between couples around you and some might be very um, very um, immersed in each other's lives and maybe you're not at that stage yet um, and maybe you don't want that stage just yet and maybe you're still working on it but I think you'll see a contrast between your relationship and how other people are have their relationships going on around them with the three of cups look I really feel like some of you are definitely um, being very social um, enjoying your relationship this is having fun this is going on dates this is having that spark again which I love definitely for some of you you'll be rekindling that um, intimacy that maybe you've lost or you haven't experienced in a while but with these two cards here this is really quite positive I, I like these two together because I think that there's a sort of um, added um, spontaneous energy that's surging in your relationships over these next three months in particular if you are dealing with an earth sign which I think 
I mean, really, there's everything. We have cups. I think if you're dealing with any sign, really, there is a lot of beautiful changes ahead. Um, but this is a kind of enjoyment of good times, of sociability, um, and toasting to success. I feel like independency in your, um, an independent nature in your relationships will bring success to this relationship for you because oftentimes you can be a little bit fickle and unsure and you have to be confident in your decisions especially emotionally you have to emotionally feel confident but the cups do represent emotion and if if i can see um if i can get anything from this message here it's that there's a confidence in emotion and feeling really linked to someone um and, you know, this is definitely going to improve and work on your relationship because the eight of wands is you having your head down, is you having a lot of focus. For those that are dealing with earth signs, I feel like there's a lot of action. Um, there's a lot of pleasant surprises coming from them. I am seeing a lot more commitment from them and they're really working hard at the relationship. Maybe they haven't before. Maybe they have been that sort of hermit energy and have retracted from a relationship. And maybe because you've started to reflect yourself and gain that independence yourself, now this person is suddenly coming in and doing a lot more or maybe doing everything that you used to do in the relationship and you're sort of sitting back and seeing that when you retract or when you pull back that's when you see other people really get in there and really start committing to you really start being a person of their word um, and following through with actions which is really nice you are coming into abundance here so I think for a lot of you you might be renovating homes as well this is a notion of repairing renovating hard work um, or working on the relationship, working on your communication, but there is action involved in the physical realm, which is really good, particularly for those that are dealing directly with earth signs. For some of you with the devil card, this can indicate a somewhat obsessive relationship that's forming, obsessive thoughts, overindulgences, um, being paranoid, calling someone too much, and maybe this is just, I think it's just a phase because there's the only one standalone card which indicates this darkness or obsession, which is the devil card. For some of you, it can be overindulging in sex, overindulging in substances, whether this is you directly or someone you're dealing with in your relationships. For others, I feel like it's there's a really, really strong focus on the physical component of a relationship and not so much a more love uh, focus. So there is communication, there is good times and happiness and, and, and fun things that you're doing together in the physical, which is great. But I feel for some of you over the next three months, you might be lacking a more deeper connection here. Although you might be keeping in touch and you're being quite social with this person, I feel like you might feel it's more physical lately rather than like really something deeper. But this is not for all of you. I think this is for some. There are many meanings and interpretations in these cards. So please remember, I'm not one to take just one meaning or one interpretation from this and just apply it to everything because that's not the case. The cards are varied along with their meanings and symbolism. So please keep that in mind uh, because the devil card can oftentimes represent doing things that are taboo, doing things in the darkness. It can re represent things not being illuminated, things being hidden. So emotions may be hidden, so how someone really feels because they're still wanting independ um, independence. With the devil card, possibly manipulation coming from some of you. There's, and it could be a Capricorn or an air sign that you may be dealing with. They may be saying all the, and it sort of, I guess, leaves you questioning some things that they're saying, or it sort of leaves you guessing. Um, I think you'll definitely pick up on it, but it could be a bit of someone is very, very charming and trying to. Maybe it's them trying to retract and trying to get that independence, and they're 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 doing it in a very charming yet calculated way. For some, the Three of Wands indicates that you're currently with someone, you're in a relationship with someone that is very long-lasting and will last for the long term. The Three of Wands to me can indicate it's like you have a long journey ahead together, I feel, um, or you have a lot still to learn, but it also can denote travels, relocation, movement. Um, I feel like there's long-term goals or long-term future planning for your relationship that's coming to pass over these next three months in particular. These next three months, these number three has come up twice. So I feel this is very significant. Um, independence, relocation, movement, maybe movement from something more physical into something more spiritual. For others, I feel like it's movement from spiritual and emotional into something more physical for the time being. For others, there is this, someone's definitely stepping up and trying to 
bring back your love maybe you feel not in touch with someone anymore so I think the main theme for you and your uh, significant other could be really setting the pace uh, this this month um, and the next consecutive months as well so look I am going to leave it at that